Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening, depending on where you're watching from. God bless you. God keep you. God make his countenance shine upon you and give you peace. Peace in every area of your life. Yeah, this month is month of wind of change. Changes in every area of our life. The Lord will blow the wind to cause it to happen in the name of Jesus. My name is Pastor Lara Obiwomi. I'm the pastor in charge of the Redeemed Christian Church of God's Seat of Mercy. I'm the visionary of Kingdom Jewels International. Blessed day to you, wherever you are. God bless you, in Jesus' name. It is Friday again. It's a marriage talk where we discuss little, little, tiny things that could lead to problems in marriages that could lead to divorce. As we know, the Bible says God hates divorce. So it means that as an individual, we should strive, we should work towards making our homes heaven on earth. Before we go, let us pray. Father, we thank you. We give you glory for this morning. Thank you for our homes. Thank you for all our children. Thank you for spouses. Father, we appreciate you. We say be glorified in Jesus' name. Our Father, our King and our God, let our homes be heaven on earth in the name of Jesus. We want to enjoy our marriages. We don't want to endure them. So everything that we need to do for enjoyment to be the, uh, the portion of our homes, grant unto us in Jesus' name. Sweet Holy Spirit, we invite you into all our homes, into this um, married talk. Let your name be glorified. Teach us what we should understand. And give us knowledge that makes us stronger and better in our home as the wind of change is blowing. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen, amen. Today, we are going to talk about listening. Listening wisely. When we talk about listening, a lot of us think, I mean, a lot of people will think it means that somebody is talking and you just listen, you just hear. But in this case, I'm talking about listening wisely. How do you listen wisely? So when we talk about listening in this um, contest, I'm talking about when two people sit down, leaving everything they are doing, and talking with it, each other. With each other. Let's look at the Bible passage, Proverbs 15. I'll read verses 31 and 32. It says, The hear that heareth the reproof of life abide among the wise. And 32 says, He that refuse instruction despise his own soul. But he that hear reproof Getting understanding is getting understanding. Now, why am I using this Bible passage talking about reproof? It's because when we are talking about listening, it means maybe one person has a grudge or something that he wants to or she wants to bring to the notice of the other. Maybe one person did something wrong and the other person Maybe you don't know. Or the person has been telling you and you don't know. I want to advise that at intervals, couples should sit down and listen to each other. Maybe if, um, did I do anything wrong this week? Or such things like that. So, it is good to set aside time at intervals to listen to each other. And when we are talking about listening, it's not when two of you are talking at the same time. That is called argument. When um, there is a reason for you to sit down and say, let us have a conversation. Let us talk about this. Let us um, communicate. 
the uh, the the first step in communication is both party are uh, is that the both parties are willing to listen. I will talk about listening amongst couples and then children also to our children and the children to parents. Couples. When somebody says, I want to talk, uh, let's talk. You say, okay, whatever you are doing, you drop it and be totally attentive. You can't be watching TV and say, I'm listening. And as the person is explaining, is telling you why he or she is angry, you have to listen. Don't interrupt. And say, hey, that one, that one. You can take a note and write what you want to say. And if he's telling you, uh-uh, why are you always doing that? You never this, you never that, you had it. If you have a question, you can ask. At that point, are you now, are you angry at the fact that when I wake up, I don't say good morning? Or the way I say good morning? So that the other party will explain. So that you can get what he or she is saying. Never say what your spouse is saying is so stupid. How can you talk like that? You are stupid. Mm -mm. Because the way God created us, human beings don't see, we don't see the same uh, all the time, see situations the same way. You might be looking at it from the angle that this person has not thought of. Or he might be looking at it or she might be looking at it from the angle you have not thought of. That is why listening is very important. Listen and try to understand and try to position yourself where the other party is looking at it from. After that, you ask questions. Try and understand more. Are you saying the way I sleep? You know, ask questions, reasonable questions, not questions like, so are you sure you are not stupid now? Mm -mm. Questions that will make the person explain better what they are thinking. And if you are angry, you should create a time to discuss it. Don't be mad at your spouse and keep quiet. The other person is not a mind reader, will not know what you are thinking about. So after the person, after the angry person or the one that wants to start, says everything, darling, are you done? Ask questions, you understand what the person is saying. Don't go ahead and say something is wrong with you. Okay, darling, from your that is your standpoint. I don't understand what you say, or I now understand why, why okay, why you are looking at it like that. Then you now say your own point of view also. Without using abusive words, without using hard tones. Speaking in the language that your spouse will understand. Because generally, what should be happening in conflicts, in homes, is that you are looking for solution to problem. You are not having a context that somebody must win. Okay, you are looking at it from the angle of Okay, the left and the right. So how can we put this together? Or what is the solution now? What do you think we can do? 
explain to your spouse why that particular action you have to do it in a very simple manner you know you complain about me uh, uh, taking a walk when um blah blah the children need to do homework we have to incorporate this work to my my life because this and this is the reason I need to take a walk every day. Sit together as adults, find solution. Not somebody has to win. It is me. I am the boss. I am the husband. I am the neck. It is not about the neck or the head or the hand or the leg. It's about the home coming together. I always say marriage is like a triangle. Lord Jesus at the top, both parties bending to meet. If one party is not ready and says, I'm not bending, after the other one bends all the way down, there won't be no bending, no more bending to do again. So that is why both of you have to meet at the point. You have to talk, communicate. Somebody has to listen to the other one wisely. Trying to understand what the person is saying. When you go to school, it is not everything that they are teaching you in school that you understand or agree with. But whether you agree with it or not, on the day of exam, you have to write it down. When they say, uh, what is biology? You have to write it the way the teacher teach you. And that is what they call trying to get, um, to, to move forward, to get um, the results. So what solution? What is workable? What can both of you agree with to be workable in this marriage to make it move forward? When I say listening wisely, wisely means you are listening to seek understanding of why this person is behaving so. Why that cannot only be in marriage, even at your place of work. Maybe you are the boss and you see your messenger doing something. Ask listening with the intention of understanding. You shouldn't have made up your mind and then tell somebody to be telling stories. No. Listen and tell the person what you think is wrong or what you think will be better than what the person is doing. Listening wisely from parents to children or the other way. When your child wants to talk to you, listen. Hear them out. This is a thing that is causing so many children going out to talk to their peers instead of talking to you. Listen to them. Let, let them be able to express themselves. And tell them why you think it is wrong. And why, <clears throat> oh, I didn't look at it like that. Sometimes these children, you look at them like they're small. What they know is way more than what you can imagine. So listen to them wisely. And when you listen, let your response be solution-seeking. Not trying to tell them to shut up, shut up, what do you know? Listening is very key. It's help resolve conflicts. It is very crucial in day-to-day -day activity in homes, <coughs> even in our lives. As a counselor, if somebody brings matter to me, I ask questions. What do you think? Okay, why is he doing that? Because if you don't know why somebody is doing something, 
it is inevitable for you to get angry sometimes. But if you know why, you might be able to understand and see how to... Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't know. I'll tell us a, a story before I round off this morning. One man and his two kids were on a plane. And the man sat down there. The kids were not sitting down, jumping up and down, restless, go up, jump. And everybody around on board were looking at him like, ah, can this man control his kids? <clears throat> but one person who's, who will talk, instead of just eyeing them and looking at them like these people are so stupid, Ask the man, <clears throat> excuse me, please let your kids sit down. And the man looked up and said, I'm so sorry. We're just coming back from their mom's burial. Everybody's countenance changed immediately. Knowing the reason these kids were restless. The reason the man could not gather more, enough strength to say the kids should stop. You don't know what is going on in the life of somebody. You don't know what your husband or your wife encountered when he went out. You don't know what came to his mind. If you do not ask, and if you do not allow the person to explain, you will not know. Listen wisely. And as you do so, the Lord will continue to make you understand wisdom to build homes. The Lord will grant unto each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. If you have any question, you can put it on the comment section. You can call me if you have my number. Whether on Facebook or on YouTube, my YouTube channels, Pastor Lara Obiwumi. Subscribe to my YouTube. Share, share, share this video and like, comment. As you do so, God will bless you. Again, Pastor Lara, I love you. And I pray that the Lord Almighty will make your homes heaven and earth in Jesus' name. That with wisdom, the Lord will cause you to, to build your home as a man or as a woman. It takes you to tango. And it takes wanting it to work for it to work. God bless you. God bless you. I'll see you next week. If Christ tarries, remain blessed and rapturable. Give your life to Jesus. <laughs>